Hi there, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, students, young and old, past, present and future, a very warm welcome here to Montgomery Academy. Now normally at this time of year we would be inviting you all to come and join us here at Montgomery for our annual uh, Remembrance event. This year has been anything but normal, but yet we feel here at Montgomery that some things remain the same and that are just as important. And despite the current COVID-19 pandemic, we were always going to ensure that has been a Montgomery tradition for many years now, that we have an event to try and appreciate the magnitude of the efforts in years gone by and presently of the British Armed Forces and all the other emergency services. Hi, my name is Mr Morton and I would normally host an important school event such as this where we would take the opportunity to remind ourselves and others about how lucky we are and how thankful we are for the sacrifices of our members of the Armed Forces, past and present, as well as appreciating the amazing work of other heroes such as our NHS staff, our firefighters, our police officers and paramedics and as good old-fashioned teachers. Now I'm here today uh, and joined by a few other people that I am going to introduce. Uh, I've got Mr James who's the Head of History here in Montgomery. We're going to be hearing from him very shortly. We've also got Gabriel in Ulan, our head boy and head girl. We've also got performance later on uh, this afternoon from uh, one of our current year 10 students, Lucy. And also later on this afternoon, we're going to be joined by Abby, a former student of ours, uh, who's very talented with the trumpet. She's going to be joining Mr Hayes at the front of the school. Uh, and Mr Hayes is a member of, of our cadet organisation, uh, where between the two of them, they will be coordinating the plane of the last post and the lowering of the Union flag. Now, I'll be back towards uh, the end of the video, as well as popping in for other little bits and pieces. But for now, I'm going to hand you over and leave you in the very capable hands of Mr James, who's the Head of History here at Montgomery. Thank you, Mr Morton. Um, Remembrance 2020 has certainly been different. In a physical sense, the many different ways in which we gather as a community and as a country to commemorate those that have served and continue to serve in the armed forces has had to stop in light of the current worldwide pandemic. However, one thing that has certainly not changed is the opportunity to remember the fallen and those that still serve in the armed forces past and present. Remembering the sacrifices made doesn't necessarily have to be done physically. There are many different ways in which we can remember and so gratitude and appreciation for the sacrifices made in our names. Buy a poppy from the students selling in each year bubble. Download a poppy from the Legion website and stick it in your window at home to show your support. But most importantly, spend some time on your own or with your family and friends and reflect on the sacrifices made during the two world wars and other conflicts. Be thankful for the freedoms you enjoy that came at cost of many lives and huge personal sacrifice. Lest we forget. Thanks for that, Mr. James. Uh, I'd like now to invite Gabriel and, and Yulan, uh, our head boy and head girl, uh, to the lectern one at a time. Uh, they're both Year 11 students. They're both studying history, GCSE history here at, at Montgomery, and they're going to offer just as a short reading. Uh, thanks in anticipation to both of you. by Rupert Brooke. If I should die, think only this of me, that there's some corner of the foreign field that is forever England. There shall be in that rich earth a richer dust concealed, a dust whom England bore, shaped, made aware, gave once her flowers to love, her ways to roam, 
a body of England's breathing fresh air, washed by the rivers, blessed by sons of home. And think, this heart, all evil shed away, a pulse in the eternal mind, no less, gives somewhere back the thoughts by England given, her sights and sounds, dreams happiest her day, and laughter, learnt of friends and gentleness, in hearts of peace under an English heaven. Thanks you guys, that was lovely. And it takes a lot of courage for uh, students of any age to stand up in front of uh, a group of students, never mind a camera of potentially hundreds and possibly thousands of people watching it. So a big thanks to both of you. Uh, as has become a Montgomery tradition, we now performance uh, from a young lady that in my humble opinion, epitomizes the thoughts and prayers of every family across the land and beyond. Whether it's a brother or a sister, an uncle or a granddad, a boyfriend or a cousin, every family will want the same return of their loved ones either returning from conflict or maybe from hospital where they've been looked after by our amazing NHS staff. I have a younger sister and as you do when you have uh, younger brothers and sisters we fall out, we've certainly had our moments yet I stand here today in front of you very proud to say that my sister Kerry works for the NHS. She's a hero in my eyes along with tens if not hundreds of thousands of others across many walks of life battling to keep us now and in the future safe now, whether that's down the road at Blackpool Victoria Hospital or across the other side of the world as part of Her Majesty's Armed Forces, we, we are and will always be eternally thankful. I'm now going to ask Lucy if she wouldn't mind performing for us.
I don't think I'll need the microphone. Uh, Lucy, what can I say? Just amazing. Uh, one of my mum's songs, uh, favourite songs from the musical Les Miserables. But for me, it just kind of sums up uh, what an awful lot of families are thinking at the moment, bringing home loved ones, like I said, from either further field or at the local hospitals and healthcare centres with our amazing NHS staff. Uh, we're now going to move outside where Abby, a former student of ours, and also Mr Hayes, who's a current member of staff here at Montgomery, but also a member, like many of our students, uh, a member of the cadet organisations, where between the two of them they will perform uh, the ceremony outside involving the playing of the last post by Abby and the lowering of the Union flag, followed by a minute's silence. Thanks to both of you in advance. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Abby and Mr uh, Hayes, as well as everybody else that's been involved today. It just remains for me, on behalf of the school, uh, to say a massive thank you to all those involved, but also a big thank you to you guys for watching and, and listening. We all hope you stay safe, you and your families all stay safe uh, at the moment, uh, and really hope that you will be able to join us, actually really here and join us here in the hall in November 2020, where again, we will try and somehow appreciate how lucky we all really are. Thank you. <laughs>